could it just be a different way of looking at something? I yes. Mean, yeah. I think in many ways, it's it's what someone like Robert Anton Wilson ref- would refer to as a different reality tunnel. Like, you know, you just understand how the how the you you kind of like get into the magician mindset and see the world that way in this mm-hmm. very consistent way, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've certainly uh, delved into that quite a bit in terms of just having very deep synchronistic experiences that are so overwhelming and constant that it's like crazy Mm -hmm. (coughs) but you know, you can see things from the magical worldview. It's an it's an incredible. It's like going through the looking glass. You know, I feel like I've gone into that mm. because I feel like a big part of the magical universe is synchronicity. Yeah. And just learning how to read this kind of scattered logic, but it's a very similar mindset to something like insanity, like or schizophrenia. You know. Um, but at the same time. It's almost as remarkably consistent in its in the way you're able to read it and predict what will happen as a more causal, logical, rational set of data. You know what I mean? Like reading tea leaves could almost can you, like if you really did it, you would find that it's almost as consistent as you know some of the best technology out there. To do a similar kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. All I'm trying to say is that part of really stepping into the magical mindset is seeing how a lot of that stuff actually does work in some strange way. Yeah. And that you see, <clears throat> I think it's all about causality, as I see the difference between the reality that we live in and the magical world uh, is that. Uh, the magical world is more the world of synchronicities <coughs> of the a causal connecting principle it's not your, your standard <coughs> cause and effect <coughs> as in you're causing it rather than something's happening to you is that what you mean as in consensus reality is largely uh, about Causal thinking and logical thinking, you know. Um, whereas the magical universe is all about, as I would see it, a causal thinking or synchronicities. That's like the key distinction in the world that we live in. Synchronicities don't mean anything. Like I'm talking to you about Christine. Uh, about going out to see a movie. I say, I want to see Straight out of Compton. Christina texts it instantly at that time. Yeah. Now, that's pretty, like, right in the moment. Yeah. But, and that's just, you know, so in the reality that we live in today, that doesn't mean anything. But from the magical point of view, those things are very meaningful. Right? Yeah, but what's the meaning? Well, it all depends on the whole context of what you've been thinking about the emotional state that you're in you know but I'm just saying that generally um, that is the distinction between our world or the world that we live in in the everyday world and the magical world is that the magical world consists of many of those kinds of connections that from a rational perspective aren't connections at all or are irrational. But uh, do they have a overriding meaning, or are they just showing a connection? You know, like, this was something that came up here, and it instantly came up over here with Christina. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, or is, does I it have... I think they have both a personal meaning and a universal meaning, because a big concept within magic is the idea of the microcosm and the macrocosm yeah. and that 
the individual is in some way the microcosm of the macrocosm, and it's all this kind of thing, like with astrology it, and how, you know what I'm saying? So <coughs> that, that, that it would maybe have some larger, more universal resonance to it. But, but it, it also would have a personal. Okay. I mean, does it mean anything that we didn't act on that? Do you know what I mean? This uh, not necessarily. I mean, well, it, 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 it just depends on you. It's very much like about your engagement with reality and, and like that thing. It, it, if, if Christina were more of a, you know, woman that I was like really sexually attracted to or something or whatever or had been thinking about in other ways or if something was hinging upon something else, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, that's... That's a very personal question that has to do with your own associate, your own web of associations. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's it's very much about your the way you're reading the reality, your web of associations, and your chain of a causal connections that are telling you multiple stories. Yeah. about the world because that's what we're doing in reality we have a chain of logical more logical stories that make up our idea of consensus reality um, or that make up our sense of consensus reality we don't even really think of these things but most of them are sort of like logical cause and effect stories or you know what I mean like we very much live in that kind of a mindset especially in, in the world as it is today as opposed yeah. to maybe 200, 300 years ago or ancient history. So, I'm saying that, to me, the key distinction between the magical universe and the world that we, the consensus reality, would be the significance of synchronicities. The significance of... Uh, of these coincidences, do they have any meaning? In, in, in our world, they don't. Yeah. What do you mean by scattered logic, or did you just say that casually? Well, I mean, it's scattered logic to read tea leaves, isn't it? What kind of logic is that? You're like reading, yeah. picking from here, and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, that's just generally a kind of magical, schizoid, oracle-like way of finding order in the chaos in some way. We're reading a pattern that you think will um, is, is, is in some way imminent. That pattern is indicative of something that's imminent or whatever else, you know. But is part of part of those rituals like reading tea leaves? Could it be partly projecting? Yeah. You know, so it's absolutely. Yeah. It's the inner is becomes outer. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, externalization <coughs> process in a certain way. Yeah. 